Tracking uh, the storms with the weather app, the WFSB weather app. It's a great resource. You'd be able to track it along with us in real time. So get the app. Just get up there with your phone, hit camera, and scan that QR code. And you believe it or not, before you know it, you'll have the WFSB weather app. It's absolutely free, and it is, once again, a great resource. All right, our Doppler, for the most part, scanning dry. We still have a little cluster of shower activity, Stafford, Staffordville. Uh, Stafford Springs, you're dealing with a little bit of this very light scattered shower activity, maybe even a little bit of moderate rain coming down in parts of the uh, these little clusters of activity just paralleling I-84. Uh, it's done in Tolland. It's moving towards the north and to the east. It'll be out of here within the next 15 minutes. All right, the Almanac 64 is a typical overnight low. Look at that record, 100 set back in 1965. Woo! Normal high 86. That's as warm as it gets from July 13th through July 24th. The normal high is now 86 degrees and we're going to get there today. Visibility at a good 10. Uh, you've got some real good visibility out there this morning. And once again on the satellite and radar, we do see that little bit of a uh, little bit of a rogue shower. We had some thunderstorms develop overnight. You can see them moving through parts of northern Connecticut. I know I uh, I was like, what is that I'm hearing? I was like, is that a train? No, it's thunder. And uh, that woke me up at around 2.20 this morning. As we widen out the shot, there's not a whole lot of activity back to the north and west, but we do run the risk. A little disturbance is going to roll through. We do run the risk for a scattered shower, maybe a brief thunderstorm a little bit later on this afternoon. Early morning future cast tomorrow's weather today is really downplaying this threat. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. As you can see here in Connecticut, not a lot of activity, right? And then tonight we completely clear things out and Friday and Saturday look amazing. Here's the wider perspective. You'll see there are going to be scattered showers throughout the area. I just ran the clock down through 7 p.m. So not a whole lot. But we can't run that. We can't rule out the possibility of a passing shower, maybe a brief thunderstorm. It's mild and it's humid to start. Dew points are in the mid to upper 60s. Here are the temperatures 71 in New Haven, 71 in Danbury. Remember, 64 is the number you should be seeing on this map. We've got it for you in Salisbury, Torrington close at 65, but everybody else is running above that. And you can see the dew points are in the low to mid 60s. So it is a little sticky out there. And these dew points are going to be in the upper 60s to near 70 during the day today. Here's the dew point trend. Once this little disturbance goes through, Friday and Saturday look amazing. And then Sunday it starts to climb, still not bad. And then Monday and Tuesday with that threat for showers and thunderstorms, we are in the humid air. Temperature differential from yesterday, we're up a degree or two or three or four in parts of the state from 24 hours ago. Nothing too substantial. And we've got a beautiful eye cam for you in New Haven as we take a look at the Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge. 71 degrees. It is mild out there this morning. Middletown, good morning to you. We've got some numbers in from you. Our weather watchers, Eleanor in Hampton and uh, Nancy in Bristol, both at 65. Ed in Killingworth at 67 degrees this morning. So it's mild. It's humid to start. Today is warm and muggy. We're expecting uh, daytime highs today to climb into the mid to upper 80s, and here they come. 84. Notice this brief shower or thunderstorm around 3 p.m. So that's again is a good possibility and more of the same for the immediate shoreline. You'll see that brief shower thunderstorm activity later this afternoon. Daytime highs today climb into the mid to upper 80s and your seven day forecast includes 85, 88, 91 hot weather with great weather Friday and Saturday. A chance for a late day shower Sunday. Monday looks a little stormy.